projectors out there. Um, I'm actually a projector as well and uh, by human design and um, what I wanted to share right now is projectors you guys are you guys have to really cleanse your aura and do regular meditation on a regular basis very often the reason why I'm saying this if you don't do that you don't even know what you're in you're actually um, tied up knotted in this lower vibrational energy in this 3d structure and if you start really clearing your aura and if you start doing all these um by meditation and any form of um embodiment work inner work you don't realize how much your life will transform And this can apply to anybody who's very sensitive. When they call themselves empath and, and you think you're an empath, don't victimize yourself. Don't tell yourself, you know, I'm an empath and um, it sucks. It's, it's hard. I feel everyone's problems. But the thing is, you have to make sure you don't um, block yourself from growing because this is actually your divine gift to expand you have the power to lot, to make changes in yourself and in people's lives but the only way you can do that is by cleansing your body on a regular basis cleansing meaning it could be once a day twice a day three times a day as much as you can so what happens is once you cleanse and you feel yourself more clear when you're around people who are sad, who are in fear, who are constantly worried, who are angry, who are in under pressure, who have um, resentment, all these type of emotions, you can feel it much easier. Okay, you can see it. It's not your stuff. It's their things. And what we'll do, what, what you will learn, you'll learn how to stay in balance and not be wobbled by their problems most projectors what they do they get caught up with other people's problems and they try to solve their problems but what it does it just drains their energy and you're gonna feel depleted and when you're depleted you can't really do anything you're just gonna be more bitter you're gonna be so um, not in a good shape that no one wants to be around you Okay, so there is so much solution for you guys. Like, it's amazing. Once you find out that you can make a difference in this world, and it doesn't matter what way, you probably have your own divine blueprint, but do these exercises. Okay, and I do have uh, a course that's available that you can purchase i'm going to actually put that link down in this uh, video and um, you can actually follow how to cleanse yourself if you're new in this field and you don't you have no clue what to do um, i have these five lessons so you can follow and cleanse yourself on a regular basis and charge yourself up as well okay so what happens to these projectors so if you are as i said like if you don't clean yourself, if your aura is not clean, you, you don't realize you're actually attracting or manifesting things in your life that you don't desire. Because half the stuff you're holding on to the energy of the people around you because you're trying to solve them. So you think it's also part of you. So now you're manifesting more problematic lifestyle when you can manifest good things but the only way you can manifest good things that, that you really want okay you got to cleanse yourself because when you cleanse yourself you are so in balance I'm not saying 
you're going to be perfect at the beginning. It takes time. It's practice, right? It's like playing an instrument. So once you learn and you see who you are, as I said this already before, but I just want to repeat myself again. If someone comes and let's say like, I'm just going to give you an example. Like I'm in, I have a, a clinic, right? And I see a lot of patients. If someone comes very agitated and they're, they're like, Oh, I have to be, I have to go. Like you are not going to be frazzled. You're not going to be shattered by their energy when you learn to be in center. But if you're not clear, if you're not clean in your energy field, in your etheric field, you're going to be easily wobbled and you're going to respond to their needs. Okay. Even though this is your space, right? And what happens when you're responding to their needs, you become bitter because you now you're trying to solve this person's issue and this person keeps repeating it because they probably, who knows, a person who comes last minute, wakes up late, gets does everything late and shows up in your space late. This is just an example. There's so many different examples. Um, I'm just trying to think of a different one. Yeah, like if you're on a, on a highway, right? And you're going speed limit, you're driving at your own, like, you know, the speed limit. And then you have this car behind you is like in a rush and they pressure you, right? Um, if you're not stable with your energy, especially as it's at empaths, projectors, you can really get uncomfortable. And you can start, it, it can start weakening your energy and you can feel very drained right away. And then you feel exhausted and fatigued. Okay, so when you start clearing these type of, um, when you start doing your rituals, your cleansing work, you will start, you will start to feel more energy and you feel more, um, more joy and happiness in your life because now you're not distracted by these, these small things of other, other people's needs. And I'm just thinking there's one more thing I wanted to cover here. And it's important that you guys take your time. Do your breath work. My life has changed dr drastically. I have three children and when they were young, they're now teenagers and have a, a nine year old, but when they were smaller, they were in so many different programs. One was in this school, one was in that school. And then they had, um, um, different classes after school programs. And then I had to go to work. So my life was so hectic. I didn't even have time to breathe. And this was a while back. Okay. So the minute we moved this to this new town, this town is much more slower. The pace is so slower. It's like, it really allowed me to breathe again. I didn't realize I looked back. I was like, Oh my God, what did I do to myself? And, and that really helped me like letting off things that did not like, yes, the kids can be in programs, but sometimes we put them into so many different things and then you're just stressing yourself out. You have no time for yourself. You don't have no breathing time. And it's just, and then it, it's just, it's more chaotic and you're attracting all this chaotic energy. So once I slowed down and I really gave time, like I mean, slow down, not spending time, more, spe more time with friends or other people. This is spending time with me, with myself. I would spend time like to the point I was able to spend like three, four hours a day because I cut down so much stuff that I had so much time for myself. And that allowed more expansion in my life. And it freed so much things are able to think more clear and, and, um, and created more abundance in my life as well. 
it's like I went th through this quantum leap, which before I worked so hard, I tried so hard, but that didn't get me anywhere. It just kind of created more anxiety and more um, panic attacks in me. Thank God I learned it sooner. I learned it much early in my life. Imagine if I learned this when I'm 50 or 60. So if your projector, be aware, be aware, reevaluate your day, look at your day, what are you doing? Things that do not serve you. Allow yourself to make time for yourself. And allow yourself to slow down. You may feel guilty. It's normal to feel guilty. You may feel a little anxious that like, oh my God, I'm like, I was always doing all this and all of a sudden I'm stopping. What, something wrong with me? All these weird feelings will come through and that's part of your healing process. That's part of your um, energy clearing process. Okay. I think this is enough information. Um, I will talk more about it in the future so hopefully you can get started and doing your cleansing work this way you can feel a shift within yourself and you can actually see a shift in your entire life trust me you will see the difference okay thank you for watching i'll see you back in the next video